Yesterday, President Ivo Yosipovic, who was participating at the 68th session of the United Nations General Assembly, met with UN Secretary General Ban Ki moon. Speaking to the press later, Yosipovic noted that the Secretary General was happy with Croatia's progress and expressed the hope that it will serve as a model for neighboring countries on their way to joining the European Union. Today, Yosipovic is scheduled to address the UN General Assembly. And in Croatia, yesterday Croatia reached a compromise with the European Commission whereby Croatia will introduce amendments to the law on the European arrest warrant, which will go into force by January 1st. The agreement makes it possible to halt the procedure to impose sanctions against Croatia due to failure to comply with EU legislation. The Croatian government held a session today at which these amendments were deliberated, as well as amendments to the criminal code that would eliminate the statute of limitations on all crimes involving grave homicide. The justice minister said this had nothing to do with the controversial Euro European arrest warrant law, but had everything to do with the many cases of political murders committed in the past, particularly when Croatia was a part of Yugoslavia. The government also considered the draft rebalance of the central state budget while at session today. Despite the expected spending cuts, costs and the deficit will continue to grow. Deputy Prime Minister Branko Grčić, the government's point man on economic and fiscal issues, told reporters that it will not be possible to bring the budget deficit down to 3 percent of GDP in the coming year, adding that this is a process that will be defined in collaboration with the European Commission and that it is expected to take a minimum of three years. The nationwide strike by healthcare personnel is in its ninth day. Today, the leaders of the trade unions representing the striking physicians and nurses employed in hospitals throughout the country are scheduled to meet again with Health Minister Reiko Ostwich on a settlement acceptable to both sides. As part of a larger exhibition called The Histrians in Istria, replicas of jewelry made in line with archaeological artifacts were presented in a gallery in the coastal city of Pula today. The various bracelets, rings and other pieces of jewelry are identical to that worn as long ago as the 12th century BC by the ancient Histrians who used to live in this region. These attractively made replicas have proven quite popular as souvenirs of Istria. Taking a look at sports, at a pro water polo tournament being held in Italy, Zagreb's Mlados defeated Marseille of France 11-10 in the first match in Group A. Mlados is scheduled to play two matches today against Sinteza from Kazan, Russia, and the tournament's host, Aqua Chiara of Naples. And finally, the weather forecast for the rest of the day. Skies will be mostly clear and sunny, although there is a chance of precipitation at places. Winds will be mostly light inland, while moderate southwestern and Chiraco winds may blow on the Adriatic coast. The sea will be calm or a bit choppy, with water temperatures from 21 to 24 degrees Celsius. Visibility will be high. Today's high temperatures range from 23 to 26 degrees Celsius, but they will be slightly lower at the higher elevations.